Are you struggling to manage your blood sugar levels? Constantly feeling tired and sluggish? Or maybe you're worried about the long-term health consequences? Millions of people around the world are dealing with blood sugar imbalances, but the good news is it doesn't have to control your life. In this video, I'm going to share 10 powerful tips that can help you take control of your blood sugar and start living a healthier, more energetic life. Stay tuned till the end because the last one might be the most important. First up, exercise. We all know exercise is good for us, but did you know it plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar? When you exercise, your muscles use glucose for energy, which directly lowers the amount of glucose circulating in your bloodstream. Think of it like this. Your working muscles are like little glucose vacuums, sucking up the excess sugar in your blood. But it's not just about intense workouts. Even moderate activity like brisk walking, jogging, or dancing can make a big difference. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Remember, consistency is key. Second, let's talk carbs. Now, carbohydrates aren't inherently bad. In fact, our bodies need them for energy, but not all carbs are created equal. Some carbs, like those found in sugary drinks and processed foods, are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing rapid spikes in blood sugar. These spikes can leave you feeling energized for a short period, followed by a dreaded crash. On the other hand, complex carbohydrates, like those found in whole grains, fruits and vegetables, are digested more slowly, providing a steady release of energy and helping to keep your blood sugar levels stable. So it's not about eliminating carbs entirely, but rather making smarter choices. Think of it like this. Simple carbs are like kindling. They burn quickly and intensely, while complex carbs are like logs, providing a slow and steady burn. So instead of reaching for that sugary cereal in the morning, opt for a bowl of oatmeal topped with berries and nuts. Swap out white bread for whole wheat bread and choose brown rice over white rice. And remember, portion control is crucial. Even healthy carbs can lead to blood sugar spikes if you eat too much of them. So be mindful of your serving sizes and listen to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Third, fiber. Fiber is your best friend when it comes to blood sugar control. Think of fiber as nature's blood sugar regulator. It acts like a sponge in your digestive system, slowing down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream and preventing those dreaded sugar spikes and crashes. There are two main types of fiber, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber found in foods like oats, beans, lentils and apples dissolves in water and forms a gel-like substance in your gut, which helps slow down digestion and sugar absorption. Insoluble fiber, found in foods like whole grains, nuts, seeds, and vegetables, adds bulk to your stool and helps keep things moving along smoothly. Aim to include a variety of fiber-rich foods in your diet. Start your day with a high-fiber breakfast, like a bowl of oatmeal with berries and chia seeds. Snack on fruits, vegetables, or a handful of nuts. And make sure to include plenty of fiber-rich foods in your meals, like lentils in your soup or a side of steamed broccoli. Remember, increasing your fiber intake gradually is key, especially if you're not used to eating a lot of fiber. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day is also essential as it helps fiber do its job effectively. Fourth, hydration. Did you know staying properly hydrated is crucial for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels? When you're dehydrated, your blood sugar becomes more concentrated, leading to higher blood sugar readings. Think of it like this. If you have a teaspoon of sugar in a small glass of water, it's going to be much sweeter than if you had that same teaspoon of sugar in a large pitcher of water. Water helps flush out excess glucose from your system, keeping your blood sugar levels in check. It also helps your kidney function properly, which is essential for filtering waste products, including excess glucose from your blood. Aim to drink at least eight glasses of water throughout the day. And remember, thirst can sometimes be mistaken for hunger. So if you're feeling peckish, try drinking a glass of water first before reaching for a snack. You might just be thirsty. Fifth, portion control. We've all been there, eyes bigger than our stomachs. But when it comes to blood sugar control, portion control is key. Eating large meals, even healthy ones, can lead to a surge in blood sugar. That's because your body has to work harder to process a large amount of food at once, which can overwhelm your system and lead to blood sugar spikes. Instead of loading up your plate, try using smaller plates and bowls. This can trick your brain into thinking you're eating more than you actually are. Focus on filling half your plate with non-starchy vegetables, a quarter with lean protein, and a quarter with complex carbohydrates. And remember, eating slowly and mindfully can make a big difference. It takes about 20 minutes for your brain to register that you're full. So slow down, savor each bite, and pay attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Putting your fork down between bites and engaging in conversation during meals can also also help you eat more mindfully. If you're still feeling hungry after a meal, wait at least 20 minutes before reaching for second. This will give your body time to catch up and let you know if you're truly still hungry or just satisfied. Six, choose the right foods. Ever heard of the glycemic index? It's like a ranking system for carbohydrates based on how quickly they raise your blood sugar level. Foods with a high glycemic index, GI, are quickly digested and cause rapid spikes in blood sugar, while foods with a low GI are digested more slowly, leading to a more gradual and sustained rise in blood sugar. Choosing low GI foods can be a game changer for 
blood sugar control. Some great examples of low GI foods include non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts and green beans, fruits like berries, apples, pears and oranges, legumes like lentils, chickpeas, black beans and kidney beans, whole grains like quinoa, brown rice and oats. Well, you're not alone. Nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, chia seeds and flax seeds. When planning your meals, aim to include a balance of low GI carbohydrates, lean protein and healthy fats. This combination helps slow down digestion, promotes satiety and keeps your blood sugar levels stable. And remember, even if a food has a low GI, portion control is still essential. Seventh, stress. We all experience it, but did you know it can wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels? When you're stressed, your body goes into fight or flight mode, releasing hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones temporarily increase your blood sugar levels to provide your body with an extra boost of energy to deal with the perceived threat. However, chronic stress can keep your blood sugar levels elevated for prolonged periods, increasing your risk of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. That's why finding healthy ways to manage stress is crucial for both your mental and physical health. Incorporate stress-reducing activities into your daily routine, such as exercise, which is a fantastic stress reliever. It helps release endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects. Mindfulness and meditation can also help calm your mind, reduce anxiety, and improve your overall well-being. Yoga and deep breathing exercises activate your body's relaxation response, lowering your heart rate and reducing stress hormones. Spending time in nature has been shown to have a calming effect on both the mind and body. Engaging in hobbies and activities you enjoy can help reduce stress and improve your mood. Eighth, monitor blood sugar. Knowledge is power, and when it comes to managing your blood sugar, knowing your numbers is essential. Regular blood sugar monitoring allows you to track your levels, identify patterns, and make necessary adjustments to your diet, exercise routine, or medication if needed. There are various ways to monitor your blood sugar, including a glucometer, which is a small portable device that measures your blood sugar level from a drop of blood obtained through a finger prick, and a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, which is a small sensor inserted under your skin that continuously measures your interstitial glucose levels, providing real-time readings and trends. Your doctor will recommend the best monitoring method and frequency based on your individual needs and health status. They'll also help you interpret your readings and make any necessary adjustments to your diabetes management plan. Remember, regular monitoring is not just about checking boxes. It's about gaining valuable insights into how your body responds to different foods, activities, and stress levels. Ninth, sleep. A good night's sleep is crucial for overall health, and it plays a significant role in regulating blood sugar levels. When you're sleep deprived, your body produces more of the stress hormone cortisol, which can increase insulin resistance and make it harder for your body to regulate blood sugar effectively. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Establish a regular sleep schedule, going to bed and waking up around the same time each day, even on weekends, to help regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Create a relaxing bedtime routine to signal your body it's time to wind down. Take a warm bath, read a book, or listen to calming music. Avoid screen time at least an hour before bed, as the blue light emitted from electronic devices can interfere with melatonin production, a hormone that regulates sleep. Make sure your bedroom is conducive to sleep. Keep it cool, dark, and quiet. Lastly, at number 10, seek advice from a healthcare provider. Managing your blood sugar effectively as a team effort. While this video provides valuable information and tips, it's essential to remember that I'm not your doctor, and this video is not a substitute for professional medical advice. If you're struggling to manage your blood sugar levels, or if you have any concerns about your health, please reach out to your healthcare provider. They can provide personalized guidance, monitor your progress, and make recommendations tailored to your specific needs. So there you have it, the top 10 tips to help you slash your sugar and take control of your health. Remember, even small changes can make a big difference and gradually work your way up. Enjoyed the video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel on Hustler for more health, wellness, and fitness content. Your path to peak vitality and fitness begins here.